Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. A warm welcome to Nelson Mandela University's George Campus webinar. My name is Melissa Pico. I'll be your program director for this evening. This webinar, ladies and gentlemen, marks the loss of the university's webinars where our faculties have been conversing and engaging with our prospective students and parents, taking them through what we offer as a university. Tonight, we take you through our campus niche offerings. Our program this evening is packed not only with information from our academic departments, but also offers you know, an opportunity for you to engage with the campus and ask questions. I invite you to make use of our chat function on the site and start off you know, asking questions. And we are here tonight to make sure that we respond to those questions. Just a bit of house rules. This is a live recorded session. Kindly make use of the chat box to ask questions and engage with us. To start us off this evening, we have our campus principal, Dr. Kaluke Mawila, who will officially open the proceedings for us this evening. Over to you, Dr. Mawila. Thank you. Good evening, parents, students, and our community members in South Africa. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. It's a pleasure to welcome you to our very beautiful campus. And we welcome you particularly on this very beautiful spring day. Happy spring day from us to you. You are at the Nelson Mandela University George campus. We are excited to make your acquaintance and we have spoken before. This is now the time for you to make your tick on the right box and join our university. It has been an incredible year. We have already spoken before about how difficult and how incredible the changes have been that have been imposed on universities. Uh, as a result of the pandemic. We want to assure you as parents as you continue to support your children uh, to make choice about college uh, that we are doing our very best to prepare ourselves to receive your students and we are doing very well to sustain ourselves as well as to keep our, our campus safe and to save lives as well as save the academic year. The Nelson Mandela University is an iconic university in this country. It represents a lot of good, and we hope that you will join us in our family uh, and do good with us. We are a sustainable futures campus, and we hope that you will get to see uh, our part and contribution in sustaining our nature, our ecosystem, as well as our communities through the work that our faculty are doing, as well as uh, through the activities that are enabled for students. We have a wonderful program lined up for you today. We hope you are as excited as we are to learn what we do, and we look forward to meeting you when you do make that special choice to come and see us. Perhaps let me take a moment to also thank you for those of you who are repeat uh, visitors to our campus. You haven't made a wrong choice. You are meant to be with us and therefore our arms are wide open and we are really, really excited to meet your acquaintance. You will meet our incredible uh, professors who are doing wonderful work in the various uh, faculties that we have on our campus, but you will also get to engage with the content um, of the programs that are offered on our campus. We hope that you will see us as your best and best destination to study and to change your future. Welcome once again to the Nelson Mandela George campus. I hope to hear from you. There will be a moment where we will talk and I will be in the background. I am willing to engage also. I'm going to ask the MC to take it over now. Thank you very much, MC. Thank you very much, Dr. Manuela, for such a warm welcome. Indeed, we've got a jam-packed program, and we tonight we are here to engage with our prospective students together with their parents as well. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to proceed with the business of the day. Tonight, as promised, we've got our science faculty who will take you through our niche program offerings. What are we known for as the George campus? When we talk about being a campus, you know, for sustainable sustainable futures, what it is that we mean, what program offerings 
do we have that supports you know, our vision as a campus? So this evening, we have Professor Jos Lowe leading the presentations. Prof Lowe is not only a lecturer, but equally the director of school for the School of Natural Resource Management. Prof Lowe, we are in your capable hands. Thank you, over to you. Thank you very much, Melissa. Good evening, prospective students and parents. It is a great pleasure and honor to meet you in this virtual space and to introduce you to the science faculty on the George campus. As you have heard, my name is Josh Lowe. I'm currently serving as the director of school uh, for natural resource science and management. So I will present an outline of the academic programs we offer on the George campus, as well as some other information which I hope our long, young learners will find quite useful. So I'm firstly going to make use of a PowerPoint presentation, which I'm going to share with you just now. And after that, we will also make use of, of two videos, you know, to make uh, things visually a little bit more interesting. So first of all, just to make sure we are all geographically orientated, you know, the, the main campus of the Nelson Mandela University is located in Cabeja or the former Port Elizabeth. And as our name indicates, you know, we are on the outskirts of the town of George, which is about 330 kilometers to the west of the, the main campus. So our School of Natural Resource Management and the George campus surely must be regarded as the jewel in the crown of the Nelson Mandela University. Our campus is located in the foothills of the Otiniqua Mountains, surrounded by forests, plantations and agricultural areas. It is really a place of great beauty and really a special sense of place. So it is a huge privilege, you know, to, to live and to work and to study in this very, very pristine environment. Now, the School of Natural Resource Science and Management is unique in many ways. It consists of a cluster of five related academic disciplines. Now, this combination of programs is unique in South Africa. It fills a very specific niche in the academic environment. So I'm just going to run through them very, very quickly. You know, the first one is the forestry program. It is the oldest and also the largest program on the campus. And this program is very focused on commercial plantation forestry. South Africa is indeed a world leader in forest science and technology. And we are widely regarded as one of the pioneers in the world of plantation forestry. And it is really of strategic importance to our economy. It is also a very internationalized uh, type of industry. And many of our students eventually find employment abroad. And then forming part of, of the same value chain, we've got wood technology. Um, it focuses primarily on, on the processing or the primary processing of wood products, as well as the alternative uses of wood. And of course, that becomes a very, very interesting discipline in um, a world that is increasingly dependent on forest products. And there are huge developing opportunities, you know, and exciting career opportunities as well. Then we've got agricultural management, uh, specifically the management of agricultural systems. Very strong focus on entrepreneurship and leadership and strategic development. And then we've got a, our very famous uh, program in nature conservation. Now, I think we all know that South Africa is blessed with many pristine natural areas with high levels of biodiversity and spectacular scenic beauty. Our country is no doubt a leader in the management of natural areas and wildlife. And our nature conservation program is a very popular program with significant national as well as international standing. And then the last one is the, the felt fire management program, which is the only program of its kind in South Africa. It addresses a broad, the, the broad concept of fire management, fire ecology, fire detection, fire suppression, now, one has to realize that fire is a natural disturbance factor in most of our natural ecosystems. Now, most people have a very negative connotation towards wildfires, but very few people realize, you know, that fire is a necessary component 
in the in the ecolo ecological functioning of many of our systems. So fire is becoming a, a, a increasingly important management tool where climate change is subjecting all of us to all kinds of risks. Now, it's important to note that we offer so-called career oriented programs. In other words, it prepares students for a particular type of career. Now, all our programs will have generic modules, you know, dealing with various levels of computer usage and human resource management and cost and management accounting, different elements of legislation, business management and all those kind of things. And those are all, you know, basic skills that are required in the world of work. But every program has got some specialization. You know, for instance, in the forestry program, things like ecology and botany, silviculture, soil science, fire management, engineering, environmental management, and the list goes on. There's a lot of detail about each one of these modules on our website, you know, what we call the academic outcomes. So if a student would successfully complete these particular modules, you know, you can get a very good idea of what type of knowledge and what type of skills you will have. And there goes wood technology. You know, we talk about the properties of wood, you know, processing and seasoning, production, engineering, industrial, timber structures, drawing and design, engineered wood products, mechanics and so on. Same goes with felt fire management, you know, very exciting things like suppression, ecology, integrated fire management, incident command, planning aspects. When we get to nature conservation, you know, of course, we have to have things like animal studies and plant studies, conservation, ecology, environmental management, again, natural resource management, soil science features quite prominently, environmental education, and then lastly, agricultural management. You know, again, animal production, plant production, soil science, pasture science, agricultural engineering, all kinds of very, very exciting things. But, you know, I think it is important that we stand still for a moment. You know, why would one consider an academic choice of natural resource science and management? Now, if one reads the, 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 the media, you know, one will certainly detect that there is a there's globally a greater awareness of the human reliance on what we call ecosystem services. You know, what, what does nature offer to the benefit and the goodwill of mankind? And generally, there are great concerns about, you know, biodiversity loss, climate change and human health. So there's a lot of deep thinking required around this, you know. As I say, the media is dominated by aspects of of the environment and a lot of energy and a lot of funding currently flows towards acad academic uh, uh, activities and research on these type of aspects. And this is the, the domain where exciting new career opportunities will develop. OK, so there's definitely a need for more sustainable lifestyles and a change in consumer behavior. You know, I was reading the other day that they say there's going to be a shift in power, you know, away from the retailers, more towards consumers. And consumers will be the drivers towards a more circular economy to the benefit of, of, of the environment and the green economy, as we as we call it. And there's definitely going to be new business models, you know, associated with, with the green economy. And hopefully our future graduates will be the architects of those new business models to move towards more efficient systems that support a healthy environment. Of course, there are many exciting new career opportunities, some of which we haven't even thought about. And forestry, agriculture and nature conservation are all priorities, not only in South Africa, but also internationally. If we, one looks at the sustainability development goals of the United Nations, you know, all these things feature very, very prominently. Furthermore, you know, natural resource management offers you the best of two worlds. You know, it combines an outdoor lifestyle with a very dynamic working environment, an environment where you will use and you will be exposed to the best technology the world of science has to offer. Our graduates will understand 
and they will be able to influence and practice sustainable natural resource management and utilization. And that, of course, will have a profound influence on human, social and economic systems. Now, it's important that we, I've said it before, you know, we've got career orientated qualifications. You know, you will acquire skills and knowledge on the biophysical environment, but you will also learn how to manage people and you will learn a lot about entrepreneurship and business development as well. And this range of skills will make our graduates employable across a, a wide range of different disciplines. Now, you know, it, it's all about reading the market forces and the dynamics, you know, but the, the demand for natural resource products follows a very predictable pattern. If we think in terms of water security and food security and energy security and soil security, you know, all of these things lie at the heart of human health and human well-being. So the need for expertise in these type of disciplines, you know, speaks for itself. They will be great opportunities for meaningful careers and very rewarding careers in those disciplines. OK, so why would one study in the Southern Cape? You know, this region, we I always say, you know, where the mountains meet the sea. You know, the mountains are very close to the coastline here, and we quite affectionately call this, this region Otaniqua land. Now, why would one come and study in this region of our country? You know, I, I really think it is a fantastic open air laboratory for education and training in natural resource management and sustainability principles. You know, it's, it's a region with, with amazing high levels of biodiversity. You know, it's got geological complexity, you know, very prominent uh, topographical variation, beautiful mountains. Therefore, we've got very strong climatic gradients in rainfall and temperature, a diversity of soils, and it is one of the parts or the regions in the country with the highest levels of biophysical diversity. So it's also a, re a region of outstanding visual beauty, a very high demand for tourism and residential development. There's rapid economic growth. And somebody told me the other day that it is the region with the fastest diversifying agricultural industry uh, in, the, in our country as well. Now, of course, with development comes uh, prosperity, but unfortunately with development also comes all kinds of environmental challenges, you know. So we are critically aware of significant disparities in wealth and living conditions, and we are very much aware of socio-ecological challenges associated with climate change, with water security, with landscape transformation, habitat fragmentation, soil degradation, the spread of alien invasive plants, and even inappropriate fire management. So in our region, you know, we've got great levels of wealth, there's money flowing into the region, but there's also high levels of, of, of poverty. There are significant environmental challenges, and right in the middle of all of this lies an academic university. So this is the ideal open air laboratory and our students you know, will be exposed to this in real time. And it'll be an amazing open air laboratory you know, to, to study these things firsthand. And this will serve as an excellent foundation for a career in natural resource management. I don't want to say too much about the vision, mission and values. Uh, this is outlined on our website. You know, I would like to advise you to go and read some better explanations about this. I just want to draw your attention to two things here. You know, in the vision, it explicitly said, says that to be a dynamic university, African university recognized for its leadership and in generating cutting edge knowledge for a sustainable future. So the whole idea of, of sustainability science and the sustainable future features right in the vision of our university and under the values together with diversity, excellence, Ubuntu, social justice and equality and integrity, there is environmental stewardship. OK, we are the guardians and the custodians of the biophysical environment. And of course, for this reason, the, the NMU is serious about our academic programs and it is prepared to make huge investments in our academic programs as well. 
Our faculty, just very briefly, we are part of a much bigger faculty. The majority of the schools are, of course, located at the main campus. This one is us on the left hand side. I've already spoken about all these programs. The other four schools are in at the main campus in Kaberga. So it is important to note that we are part of a faculty of science with considerable academic capacity. And we all benefit from that uh, broad, comprehensive uh, spectrum of programs that we are offering. As far as the qualification structure is concerned, I'm sure a lot of our young learners would, would like to know about this. It's important to know that students can progress to the highest levels of academic achievement. On the left here, we've got the National Qualifications Framework. Now, just to put this in perspective, uh, matric is NQF level four, and our first diploma level qualification has got an exit level at NQF level six. OK, it's a three year qualification. It says there it is career oriented. I already explained that to you. One of those three years would be what we call experiential training, where you actually do academic studies in industry. Very practically orientated. Uh, you know, some of our students will be exposed to forest harvesting operations or whether they experiment with different sowing patterns or doing soil surveys or vegetation surveys and those kind of things. Most enjoyable, lovely exposure out in the in the nature and uh, getting fantastic mentorship and exposure in our respective industries. So that is then followed by an advanced diploma at NQF level number seven. It is a one year year of study, which is a great opportunity for specialization. That will be followed by a BSc Honours in Natural Resource Management. That, of course, will deepen your theoretical knowledge and uh, prepare you for high levels of research. And that is followed by MSc and PhD, uh, which is pure, purely research based. I'm sure the young prospective learners would like to know about uh, our admission requirements. You know, this is also on the website and in the in the prospectus, but very quickly, you know, for all four of the diplomas, you know, your admission score, and that of course is the sum total of the actual percentage marks you got for your various um, modules. If you have done maths at matric level, your total cumulative score must be 330. If you followed maths literacy, it must be 345. And then there are further requirements for that particular program. You know, for maths, you had to have 40% or maths 60%. For life sciences, at least 50%. Physical science, 40. Agricultural science, 55. And so it goes on for the various programs. But now it's important to note that every program is supported by an extended program. So those students who didn't make the cutoff for the main program in a particular diploma, you know, these slightly faded figures at the bottom, you know, the extended program is a year before the main program where students will do things like uh, science and numerical studies and English and, and life skills and those kind of things. Then the admission score is a little bit lower, 310 if you have done maths and 325 if you've done maths literacy. OK, I know this is quite a lot of detail, but we are welcome to discuss this uh, afterwards if you want more information on that. OK, but it's not all about academic studies. You know, one mustn't uh, take life or yourself too seriously. You know, there's a lot of other things that are also important. You know, it is important that students develop an in-depth technical knowledge of the particular study field that they've selected. That is very important. But it, uh, uh, social awareness and responsible citizenship is one of the, our key desired graduate attributes. And there we talk about things like a healthy understanding of ethics, respect for equity, quality, humanity and diversity. We also think about adaptive expertise, you know, flexibility in the work environment, cope with change, be able to take initiative, have good organizational skills. Creativity and innovation speaks for itself. Critical thinking, you know, be open for new ideas. 
self-awareness, you know, the ability to re relate and collaborate with others in a multicultural or a multilinguistic type of environment. And then, of course, communication skills, you know, whether it is verbally or in writing, you know, those are all skills that will enhance the employability of a graduate. Now, all of these aspects are embedded in our academic programs, but apart from taking our academic studies seriously, you know, I really would like to encourage students, you know, to participate in a range of cultural, social and even sport activities that our campus has to offer. You know, being a full time student is really the time for uh, significant personal growth. I know that a lot of people think about, you know, what, what can you do with these qualifications? And there, there's such a multitude of career opportunities, you know. Um, you know, forest estate managers or farm or agricultural system managers, managers of nature reserves, national parks, game ranges, research, biotechnologists, consultants, extension specialists, engineers, environmental managers, fire management specialists, ecotourism, self-employed. You know, our graduates are really in high demand. The George campus plays a very important role in providing in the human resource needs of many of these industries. OK, so there is one last look at our beautiful campus. So I'm going to request that uh, our program director activate our two videos. The first one will be uh, about our nature conservation program. So over to the program director. Are you interested in nature? Do you find beauty and peace in the majesty of the natural world? Do you know that the beauty that surrounds us is under threat by humans and human induced impacts? And do you want to make a difference to conserve the natural world for ourselves and future generations? Then the nature conservation course may be for you. As the human population expands and our environmental footprints expand, there is an ever increasing need for conservation and conservationists. No longer do we only protect large expanses of natural areas, there is also a growing need for conservation in urban and developed areas, and for an increase in environmental awareness among all humans. We have the opportunity to bring the necessary changes about, not only in South Africa, but also further in Africa and globally. Many conservation organizations are attempting to conserve the natural world and we have the perfect opportunity to hone our skills and expertise in a country with an amazing diversity of species. With nine biomes present in our country, along with a tremendous diversity of plants, fungi, insects, reptiles, frogs, birds and mammals that it hosts, there are many different career paths that you could take when you have completed your studies. The Nelson Mandela University's George Campus is located in an area where many of these biomes come together, with indigenous forests and rainbows within walking distance of the campus buildings. And within a 40 km radius of the campus, we also have succulent karoo, thicket, and the coastal environment present, which provides students with the opportunity to experience a diversity of habitats and associated management strategies, with the diversity and opportunity that it brings. Our campus is located just outside the town of George on the edge of the indigenous forest and here we have a tremendous diversity of species present with more than 30 mammal species, 200 bird species, 250 fungi species, 30 reptile species, 800 insect and 1500 plant species recorded on campus and in the immediate surroundings. The proximity to nature enables us to truly apply the theory taught in class to practical situations during our practical sessions and excursions on campus and further afield. These practical sessions also enable students to observe the species they learn about in class while observing the interactions those species have with the rest of the natural environment. 
This enables students to develop practical skills as well as skills in problem solving, communication and teamwork, which will be essential for their career development. Another major advantage of our campus is the relatively small class sizes, which provide students with more focused attention from our highly qualified lecturers, many of which are top class researchers with many years of practical conservation experience. During the third year of study, students have the opportunity to apply their knowledge and skills during their work integrated learning year. This year is completed off campus at a conservation organization or reserve anywhere in South Africa or even further afield under the supervision of a qualified mentor. Here student skills are honed and they have the opportunity to work with a team of people to make a difference and help conserve our natural environment. Through this real world experience, students are exposed to many different aspects of conservation and can discover the challenges and rewards of this career field. All of this combined to produce highly skilled, qualified and competitive graduates ready to tackle any challenges they may face and able to solve environmental problems with creative and practical solutions. But what can you do after completing your diploma studies? Well, why not try your hand at being an environmental manager, a highly skilled and qualified field guide, field ranger, ecologist, researcher, environmental restoration agent, public and environmental health management practitioner or biosecurity and environmental monitoring agent. There are also opportunities in the socio-ecological sector, such as environmental education. Or pursue further studies. Our department offers an advanced diploma focused on training critical thinking conservation managers, as well as honors, masters and doctoral degrees in nature conservation. Research at our department tackles relevant conservation issues by studying fundamental and applied sciences. Current research being conducted by our postgraduate students include topics in wildlife ecology, plant invasion and management, island biogeography, bird ecology and conservation, rangeland restoration, fire ecology, people's perception regarding conservation and human wildlife conflict. So, so, if you want to make a difference and if any of this appeals to you, make your choice to come to the Nelson Mandela University George campus and study nature conservation. It is a decision you will not regret. Great, so that was quite a colorful uh, contribution, you know, uh, for the field of nature conservation. I must say, if I look at all these images, you know, I really wish I was a student again. So the second video then will deal with the forestry department. Have you ever thought about a career in which you care about the planet? A corporate career around sustainability? A career in an industry that ensures the protection of our environment while providing the most economic and social benefits. A natural resource management career in the forestry and wood industries places you at the leadership of such a growing field. The forestry department at the Nelson Mandela University in the Faculty of Science offers programs that can prepare you for such an exciting career. In this presentation, I will be telling you more about these forestry and wood technology programs, as well as the industry for which you will be educated for. Let's start with a background on the forestry industry. The commercial forests in South Africa are managed intensively using precision silviculture strategies. This is with the primary aim of optimizing yield for the solid and pulp wood markets. This makes South Africa a world leader in the forestry industry. Forestry is about managing trees. It starts with selecting the right type of tree to plant and finding the environment which that tree grows best in. Seedlings are then raised in nurseries before they are planted in field. 
the next important step in forestry is to protect and tend the trees. This involves activities such as weed control and protecting the tree stands from hazards such as fire as well as insects that might eat away at the wood resource that you would be growing. Once the trees are mature, they are then harvested. Harvesting constitutes another interesting branch of forestry. This branch is called forest engineering. The trees are harvested for their wood and for their fiber. They are processed for their solid wood into products such as construction timber, they are also processed from their pulp into products such as paper and products such as rayon textile. The forestry industry consists of successful businesses. A forestry career means that you will be guiding the management of forest towards society's goals. You will understand the biological processes. You will know about animals and their habitats. You will appreciate the value of rivers and streams. You will have the long range view of a planner patience of a labor negotiator, the skill of an administrator, and the alertness and flexibility of an all-round resourcefulness of a successful business executive. Studying forestry puts you on a path to be part of an industry that makes a huge contribution to South Africa's national economy. Producing 16.2 million tons of roundwood per year on just 1% of the land. This is a total value of 10.5 billion rand. After the primary processing of pulp, paper, lumber, boards, mining timber, and the many other products that we get from trees, this value jumps to 27.9 billion rand. 149,100 people are employed in the forestry and primary processing of timber. This means about 654,000 South Africans. That is approximately 1.35% of the population are dependent on the forestry industry. We are looking forward to receiving your application to study forestry or wood technology at the George campus of the Nelson Mandela University. The beautiful campus has natural and planted forest around it. This makes it a great outdoor laboratory. This also makes the campus ideal for outdoor leisure activities such as hiking the incredible Otaneko mountain range. Visit mandela.ac.za for more details on the application process. Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much, um, to Prof. Law and team. I too, Prof. Law, echo your sentiments in wanting to be a student again. Ladies and gentlemen, we now proceed after this beautiful presentation and the videos that we've watched. We now proceed to our question and answer segment. This is your chance and opportunity for you to ask us questions. Remember, there is no such thing as a wrong question. 
We have a panel of academics in the room who will respond to your questions. On our panel, we have Prof. Lowe once more, Dr. Modani Ramonswana, Dr. Anina Kotsia, and Mr. Hannes Van Sale. Colleagues, um, there's a few questions that we already have um, on our chat. I think the first one um, is directed um, to the foresters in the room. Is it true that the forestry industry, or oh, is it true that the forestry program offered at Mandela University is one of the best offerings in the country? A question, um, okay. Daniel. Yes, yes, I did uh, answer it. So unfortunately, it seems I was responding to myself, but I just wanted to say, uh, indeed, the, the majority of the foresters that are produced uh, within industry come from our institution. And uh, indeed, to say the best, uh, I think is a bit underestimating us. I think we are the great institution that is able uh, to um, produce such foresters that are, as I said, uh, the majority of foresters within our industry. So uh, the type of quality qualification we bring, as I said, brings a unique um, development in terms of that we bring both the, the technical part as well as the experiential training program, which helps best prepare the students for the industry. And uh, our students are both locally in South Africa as well as internationally. So considering to do your forestry diploma with us will indeed be a great choice. Thanks. Thank you very much, Modani. The next one, I think this one is for you, uh, Anina, Dr. Kutsia. If one has a fear of nature, can you advise them to study nature con at the George campus? Thank you. Thank you for the question. Um, definitely. Um, they, you will, well, first of all, you will um, get exposure to such a uh, great diversity of nature that you will probably lose that fear. But the field of nature conservation is so broad that uh, there's definitely um, space for people that um, appreciate uh, different aspects of nature conservation. Um, there's people that engage with research, data collection and using gathering information to make decisions for nature conservation. And then there's there are also people that engage more with um, the so, um, sociology side, the humans um, that are um, involved in nature, that use it, that manage it and things like that. So there's definitely a big scope and different possibilities, um, different fields that you can um, move into in nature conservation. Thank you for that. Thank you so much, Anina. The next one, uh, Prof. Lowe, I think um, is, is for you. It's, it's a twin one question. The first goes, why must a learner choose to study a science program at the George campus? And it further goes on to say, can one study a science course without having done science at high school? OK, thank you. That's a very good question. You know, why the George campus? You know, uh, there are so many reasons, you know, I don't know where to start. But, um, you know, it's 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 a it's almost like a boutique campus. You know, it's a small campus at the moment. We don't even have 2000 students on the campus in total. And uh, the class groups are relatively small. You know, it, it touches on the very first question about whether forestry was one of the best in the country. You know, if we look at uh, the the nature of our academic programs, you know, we, we revise the academic programs quite frequently. I mean, the, the latest uh, update of our diplomas was as recently as 2016 in response to certain signals we got from the industry. We've got very, very close interaction with industry, you know, that allows us to, to move quite fast and respond to the world of work out there. So our graduates are really current in the knowledge and in their attitudes and in their uh, levels of professionality. So there's a multitude of reasons, you know, apart from the beauty of the environment and the safeness of the environment and uh, the friendliness of the people, you know, purely from a 
academic perspective. And if you look at the success rate of employment, you know, after our graduates leave the campus, you know, how quickly do they find employment? I think those those statistics speaks for itself. You know that uh, we must be regarded as a center of excellence, and we must be very popular out there in industry. You know, with forestry, with the wood industry, with agriculture, as well as with uh, with nature conservation. I just heard on the radio this morning that one of our former students has been uh, awarded, you know, being the farmer of the year in the Eastern Cape. You know, I mean, I was absolutely filled with pride when I heard that early this morning. The second question was, can you study a qualification in science if you haven't done science at at the school level? Not all the programs are the same. Um, it is quite complicated. You know, certain programs like forestry, we don't insist on a student having done uh, life sciences at school. But for instance, in the nature conservation program would make that compulsory. So the answer is not very simple. So I would advise, you know, that we uh, have students or, or prospective students go and visit the the website and look at the admission requirements, uh, you know, to get the exact information about that. I hope those answers are sufficient for your questions. But thanks for very good questions. Thank you very much, Prof. Um, this one is felt fire related. Um, Hannes, please get yourself ready. What are the work opportunities for this program? Yes. Good, fantastic. Um, Melissa, yeah, so fantastic question. And I think um, prospective students shouldn't really see the felt fire program as a standalone program. They should see it as a stepping stone into the rest of their future careers to, um, to get that little edge on your CV that will get you the job above somebody else. So um, fires are a, um, a critical part of um, most of the programs that we offer here in the in George. So if you want to become a farmer, a fire is going to be part of your life. If you want to be a nature conservationist, um, you will use fire to, to keep um, nature healthy. And if you become a forester, um, it is very important for you to know about fires um, to, in the end of the day, keep the, the stock that you produce, those trees that you grow for um, a quarter of a century to keep it safe from fire. So um, that's kind of, I think, one of the main benefits of um, studying felt fire management. Um, but it also um, opens your mind to a whole new way of thinking because we will um, learn uh, or teach you how to, to manage very difficult situations. Um, and um, yeah, I, I think it will just make you a much more um, rounded individual. So in a nutshell, I think that's kind of the um, the main reason to, to study felt fire management. Um, uh, it, it's, it's also a way um, for you to um, kind of, if you're not quite made up your mind about what you want to become in life, um, then, you know, it's just a year course. So uh, come to the campus, um, make friends with all the other students and talk to them about what it exactly it is that they are studying. Um, so um, rather than taking a gap year where you um, don't really add anything to your CV, this is a good opportunity to to see um, yourself, you know, um, grow yourself into the person that you can be. Um, I hope that answers your question, uh, Melissa. Thank you very much, Hannes. Uh, our next round of questions um, speak to where we are as a campus, and I think I'll just take these ones um, from a marketing um, perspective. The one question is, where is this campus in George? Um, our campus is, is, is in Madiba Drive. This beautiful campus is actually situated um, just a bit of outside town, so it's in the outskirts of town, nestled in the beautiful Otaniqua Mountains. Another question asked us where I'm from Limpompo and where do I get off? Once you're in George, we've got a very efficient public transport system in George, so you, you get off in town, but please do feel free 
um, to engage with us and connect with us after these conversations. I will, I will share more detail as to how you get to connect with us so that we journey with you really in understanding, you know, and, you know, someone outside from George, you don't know where you are. Rest assured, we are here to assist you at, at all times. Then um, another question, um, where is the campus situated? I've dealt with that one. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it seems that that brings us to the last um, of the Q&A specifically for our, our science faculty. I would like to thank our science colleagues as I see the questions now, you know, deal with our other program offerings and spot on. Please do this, the, 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 the PowerPoint or the what you see in front of your screen now, it's um, our my future page and I just want to draw your attention to this particular page. Ladies and gentlemen, our campus does not only offer, you know, programs in the sciences, and hence I love the fact that, you know, there's other questions that are coming out about our other offerings. You know, we have offerings that are also found in the business and in economic sciences in the faculty, in engineering and service modules from our law faculty. So the slide that you see in front of you projected is the My Future page. This is a dedicated page on our university sites. It's dedicated to our prospective students and to their parents. Uh, it's a one stop shop with everything that you need to know about our university. Everything you know, we need to know about our program offerings. You know, um, I, I saw spotted one question earlier in the Q&A session question, you know, relating to the registration fee. Is it the same for all qualifications? All these questions, ladies and gentlemen, you know, are answered on the My Future portal. And I do want to invite you to make use of the opportunity. If you see on your screen now, the, the very last tab uh, is an online booking tab. That tab allows you to book uh, an individualized session with a student recruiter, someone that will phone you telephonically or have a Teams meeting with you virtually and will take you through to each and every, you know, question that you might have in terms of understanding more. This is really a dedicated person that journeys with you, you know, in, in, in transitioning from high school into our university. And for our campus, we do have Ms. Monica Changane. Please also make sure that you book a session with her using that online tab that you see in front of your screen. It's the very last tab. It says online bookings. That is where you get to, to, to book a session with our recruiters. Thank you so much. We will now show you just a few images just before we, we say goodbye. We'll show you a, a few images, um, you know, portraying our campus and giving you a sneak peek of this beautiful campus, our campus life, what we have on offer, our residences and the infrastructure on our campus. Um, Pumlani, please do take us through the, the, the PowerPoint slide.
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a snippet or a sneak peek of our beautiful campus. I wish to thank you for spending time with us this evening. We look forward to having you onto our campus. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.